27 years, this champion sportsman wore nothing but a pair of skimpy trunks, knee-high boots and a Roman fringe on national TV. Mick McManus from New Cross, South London, was a regular on ITV's Saturday Tea Time Wrestling from 1955 to 1988. Stars like Mick, Big Daddy and Giant Haystacks gut barged their way into the nation's front parlours. From the start, TV audiences for wrestling regularly hit the five million mark and turned the wrestlers into household names. To the ropes from Mick's. Every wrestler had an image, and Mick sometimes yes, got him into trouble. I was the bad man, and uh, I was the one they liked to shout and scream at. I suppose they uh, they could see like the the traffic warden in me, the income tax inspector, the works manager, or the foreman, or something like that. Already Anybody they didn't the like, that was me. It was the women in the crowd who were sometimes scarier than Mick's opponents. They could prod you with different things like umbrellas and whack you with handbags and shoes and uh, I think on one occasion some, you know, uh, which is not very pleasant, I must admit, is, uh, you know, have a cigarette stubbed out on your ear or something like, you know, which is a bit, a bit drastic. When Mick wasn't in the ring, he was living the high life and grappling with the stars of his era. He even got the royal seal of approval. But I think the highlights was uh, uh, on a couple of occasions at the Albert Hall when I wrestled in the uh, presence of His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh. I met Princess Anne and met quite a few of the royal family, quite a few politicians. And managed to get invited to 10 Downing Street. Don't you know that he You had to do that, you see, when he was as popular as I was. So Just because you happen to be a rough and ready wrestler sort of thing, uh, you don't go out and steal babies' milk and attack old age pensioners, do you? You know what I mean? There are, there are other things in life. Mick finally put some decent clothes on in 1982 and moved ringside as a commentator. Then in 1988, wrestling was axed from network television. But in the near future, we will now no longer be in your front parlour. You know, a lot of people say, well, oh, wrestling was all, all phony and it's all fixed and all this business. But really, the bottom line was they enjoyed it. And that's what it was really all about. Look at me! Mick McManus, the man the public loved to hate, made an unlikely second career in public relations, where he's been for 12 years, hosting business lunches and corporate golf days. His boyish good looks still get him noticed. People look and give a double tango. Yeah. Mick McManus, yeah, thought you was, come on. It's the face, you see, it's the face.